start out with, with recapping a little bit of last week. You know, obviously extremely proud of the win um, and the way our guys played. I thought that uh, they found a way to win. You know, trailing going into the fourth quarter um, with with the, the mistakes and the turnovers, especially you turning it over going in, in the uh, in the score uh, to special teams blunders that led to two field goals. Um, I thought that our guys found a way, and I thought that's a as I told our staff, that's a, that's a sign of, of our guys are growing and they're progressing. And, um, because, you know, teams would have been easy to find a way to, to lose that game. And, um, and instead, these guys, they, they, they found a way to, to really uh, to, to, to make some things happen. I thought defensively, um, especially coming, coming off of those sudden changes, um, we call them first responders. They were the first responders out there and, and held them to field goals. Instead of touchdowns, I think if our defense, if, if we gave up two touchdowns right there on both those special teams' mistakes, it would have been hard to win that game. I think the momentum definitely would have shifted in a hurry. But uh, with us holding on two field goals, it was definitely an added advantage for us. Um, I thought offensively, uh, for, for two and a half quarters, almost uh, three full quarters, it was hard to get into a rhythm. Just when we would get things going, we would, there would be a mistake that would be made. And uh, get the momentum right back to North Texas and get credit North Texas and those guys being their first game. Uh, there was a lot of energy on their sidelines as well. But uh, I thought that uh, once we once we really kind of kind of hit that stride there in late third quarter, when we scored three straight possessions, uh, I, I thought that that was uh, you, you really saw our guys kind of get into the flow of things. Again, that was set up with a with a turnover. So, again, proud proud of the way our guys played. Again, it's just uh, you're two games into a, to a season. Um, you know, I, I thought, and, and I said it all week long. Um, I felt like we would find out more about our football team after the way they responded from the Baylor loss than I would the, the week of the Baylor game. And uh, I really feel that way. I think that our guys responded well. Um, had a decent week of practice last week. We didn't have a great week, um, and um, and so we were able to build on a few things. We were we were actually rained out of a practice. Uh, had to go in the gym one day, and so that was uh, um, took a little bit away from us. But uh, but our guys responded well. I was very proud of the way that they came out and got a win. Uh, someone told me Sunday. I don't know how true it is. It was 665 days from the last time they won here in Ford Stadium. I hope it's not 665 more. I'm sure you'll be talking to a new head coach if it is. Um, and uh, and that are a much aged coaching staff, um, if it is. And so that that kind of blew us away a little bit as a staff to know that and, and to know you know things that we've taken for granted. Um, but uh, we wanted our guys to understand that winning at any level is tough, and that we're going to celebrate winning. And uh, to see our locker room after the game, watch these guys celebrate was really, uh, really special. Uh, so really proud of them. And and, um, and as we move forward to a to a uh, to a big week this week. Uh, so uh, with that being said, I'm gonna uh, I'll open up for questions. Coach, yes, sir. We've got um, five guys freshmen on the 2D offense. Can you talk about their progression and how much they, how much they're coming? Yeah, you know, we're playing a lot of guys, a lot of freshmen, and we knew we would. Um, and uh, But these guys are, are, are you know, we're, we're trying to grow them up. You wish you could, you wish you were, had a, you, you were at a point in your program to where you could redshirt freshmen. Um, most of your freshmen, we're not. Uh, we're not there. We've got to use these guys. We're trying to hold as many as we possibly can. And, uh, and it's a week-to-week -week hold on some of our guys right now instead of playing them. But, uh, you know, offensively, uh, I think we all see the success that Cortland Sutton's had. Um, you know, he's having a remarkable year. He's got a great talent. He is so raw and so green. He doesn't realize how good he really can be. Um, but, uh, you know, he's, he's taking great pride in his role um, and is becoming a, a – will become one of the top receivers in the country before it's all over with. Uh, but right now, he's just a redshirt freshman that, that uh, is trying to figure out uh, you know, where all his classes are located at. So, um, and, um, so, but, but again, Cortland, Cortland is, comes from a great program, um, played, uh, played for, for Coach West and, and Brenham, and, 
and, uh, and been well coached. And so we're, proud, we're really proud of him and where he is. We knew he was going to be a good ball player. I didn't think he had a very good uh, fall camp, um, but he's really kind of progressed from there. You've got two running backs, and I've said all along, I think these, run, these two running backs have a chance to be really special here. Um, again, they're freshmen. Xavier Jones and Braden West, I think those two guys are, are, are dynamic um, and, and very sudden in, in their movement. Um, but um, they'll continue to, to grow and mature and get better. Um, Kevin, Kevin Thomas is another one that uh, has, has as much potential as probably just about any receiver that we've, we've coached. Um, but uh, again, the, the speed of the game, his ability to to understand that this, you know this is this is a job. This is you come to work every day um, and to learn the progression of things, and, and that's that's kind of a challenge that all freshmen get. Why don't you try to register as many as you can? But again, all our freshmen and, and as many as that we're playing right now, I'm proud of them. They're gaining valuable experience, and, um, and so that's kind of the way we're looking at it. You know, we got Xavier Castile is another one that's gaining some experience. Um, you know, and what happens is you get. You, this is any coach in the country that, that plays true freshmen. I mean, you know, these freshmen that come in here, they, they, they've been told um, how great they've been in high school. And, and they wouldn't be at this level if they, they weren't standouts at the high school level. And so there's a trans, kind of a transition that they have to go through when they get to this level to, uh, to understand that, hey, look, you know, everybody here was, was an All-State or an All-American. And so, uh, you know, just because you were, you were everything in Auburn in high school, it doesn't, that transition at, at this level. So, and, and so there's a growing process there, but our guys are doing a great job and our coaching staff is, is helping uh, really manage these guys as well. There's been some shuffling on the offensive line due to injuries. Last game, how do you feel they progressed from week one to week two with that shuffling? I didn't think we played as well up front. Um, I don't think we played with the edge that we played with the week before. Um, there wasn't that, uh, that, that, that toughness mentality that, that we had the week before. Um, again, uh, credit North Texas, I thought that they had a, had a, you know, they did some things to us that uh, because we hadn't had any film on. They, that was their first game, new coordinator, so we really didn't know what to gauge on. But, um, but from a from a ability to knock somebody off the ball and, and maintain double teams, it wasn't as effective as I thought we should have been or it was the week before. And so a big challenge this week for these guys and, and uh, Coach Fry, I know he was disappointed in our inability to, to convert first and goal on the four when I took, chose to take points off the board. Um, and, uh, and for us to come up with nothing on that was, was definitely disappointing. But those guys take great pride in it. Coach Fry is as good as they are, and, and, uh, and they have been the strength uh, of, our, of our football team and for our, our offense during fall camp. So those guys will continue to get better. I've been proud of them, but we're going we're gonna to strain them pretty good this week. Coach, you mentioned that uh, last week wasn't a great week of practice. What adjustments do you make this week to make sure the team's more focused? We're not changing. And, and I've shared with our coaching staff, we're not changing. <coughs> our, our formula for success is proven. We know how to win. Um, we know how to practice to get them to the game. Um, it got a little hot last Tuesday, and they kind of felt a little sorry for themselves. And so uh, I don't care. We're not changing. We're full pads today. We're going to hook it up a little bit today, and um, we'll be ready for Saturday. Coach, how does already playing Baylor's high tempo offense compare to the TCU's offense? Well, I think you're going against uh, a, a very well coached football team, uh, and as we did the last two weeks. And, uh, Obviously, the speed of the game the first week against Baylor and the speed of the game last week and this week, I mean, it's, uh, uh, they've got some guys that can, they, they, they can run. I, they've got several guys that, that, uh, um, that are elite speed, elite talent at the skill position. And so, uh, you know, we've seen it. We, we obviously saw it early in the year. Um, just because you see it, we didn't stop it too much. So, you know, I, we've seen it. But that, when you're going to run by you, it's not good. So when I've said it from the get-go, you either have speed or you're chasing it. You don't want to be chasing speed. And so, uh, but we've seen the speed of the game, and so we've got to do a better job of adjusting. I thought our defense responded really well last week uh, over giving up some just wide open stuff the week before against Baylor. But, uh, 
you know, again, very well coached football team, very well respected. Coach Patterson's been in this business a long time, very well respected across the state, across all of, all of the country, and uh, was known for his defense. But uh, you know, with, with them making the changes uh, last year and, and uh, bringing in uh, both coordinators, have done they've done an outstanding job. I mean, being a coordinator, you, you follow those guys and, and the success they had last year. And, but uh, you know, you know, we, we don't we don't forget that you know TCU's played great defense for many many years, and so we've got a great challenge on our hands um, from an offensive standpoint and a defensive standpoint as well as special teams. What are some of the biggest challenges against the defense uh, year in and year out? Against, uh, against Patterson. This, this, well, this is my first time to face uh, Coach Patterson and his defense, but uh, obviously he's a 4 2 5 and, and has been known for, for that for, for many years. And, and um, But uh, very, you know, they're gap sound. They, they don't bring a lot of pressure. Um, they're they're going to be very aggressive at the safety position. I mean, these guys are, are, are Definitely uh, uh, very talented back there on the back end. Does a does a good job of moving the front, defensive front wise. Are very athletic. Uh, you know the biggest thing that th those guys do a great job of evaluating talent. I mean they'll, they'll take guys that are that are running backs and and, um, um, and, and develop them into to, to unbelievable defensive players. Um, and so you know we got great respect for them defensively and offensively and and as a from a program standpoint. There's no doubt that they've uh, they've won a lot of games. Anything else, guys? Is there a how do you come out injury wise? You know, from an injury standpoint, uh, last week we're we're we're, we're, we're pretty healthy. Um, we're, we're very fortunate to come out. Um, Chris Weeks was was a young man that toward late in the game uh, came out, but, but uh, we anticipate him being back and ready to go. So we're, we're hoping to have everybody back full, full stride and ready to go for this week. You talk about the defensive improvement. You guys really were working on that last week and came through the game. What went well? Well, I, I think Coach Malone, and I know he'll speak on that, but uh, I thought that he and his staff did a great job of, of putting together a plan of, of uh, you know, until you get into that first game, it's hard to realize and, and what you have. And, Know, practiced against each other. They've seen the same offense over and over and over. And now that they, they get it against a, uh, another opponent, you know, it, it's really tough to, to realize what you got. And so coming out of Baylor gave us a gauge, gave us a, gave us a starting point. Um, and I know Coach Malone and, and his, his staff, um, you know, were not pleased with the way things came out. Too many uncontested throws, uncontested uh, plays on the ball. And so you know, our, our biggest thing is we have to affect and disrupt the game somehow, some way. And, and I thought they had a, had a great plan last week of moving our front and, and bringing pressure um, and, uh, and, and making some making some plays on the back end was, was probably as big as, as what we had. But again, it was, and we say it all the time, you get what you inspect, not what you expect. And what we inspected on film, what we didn't like. And I know they held their feet to the fire. And, Having guys held accountable, that's the biggest thing. It seems like you saw some in-game growth last weekend. What was that like personally for you to see, and how much more growth would you like to see? Well, I thought the biggest thing that we saw was, number one, from the week before, you know, you had the offense going down, talking to the defense, going, hey, you just, just create some stops here. We're, we're able to move the football. And last week, it was totally reversed. You saw the defense coming down going, hey, man, we got this. Y'all just put some stuff together, and so there was there was a great team win. Um, but the biggest thing you saw was you were trailing in the fourth quarter. You had to have a drive. It was a third and five play that uh, that we had to have to keep it going. We're fixing to pump the ball back to them, and um, and Matt finds uh, Shelby Walker across the middle on a third and five. Which at that from that play forward, it was like someone flipped the switch. And so you saw those guys going, "Hey, look, we got this." We're going to find a way to get this done, and uh, and so that's the biggest thing. You, you know, this was a team that, again, is, is has struggled to win, and so anything you're, you're trying to build on, and, and they had to find a way to win, and um, you know, and, and that that was probably the biggest thing I saw that these guys realized, hey, look, we can do this, and let's don't be afraid to win. I had a game that really discouraged uh, the guy. You know, he had a couple mistakes early and came back, and that kind of showed. 
Well, we've been around some, some really talented quarterbacks and really guys that love to compete. And, um, and, and Matt's right up there with those guys. I mean, he absolutely loves to compete. I mean, he leaves it out on the field after the game. I mean, he was, he was heartbroken the week before, uh, as they all were, but I mean, just, just to sell out knowing that, that uh, you know, whatever I got to do to leave everything out on the field, I'm going to do. And, I, and again, you see that with Matt. He was disappointed. Obviously, he was trying to say he didn't fumble. And, and I said, no, I saw it. You did fumble. And, and uh, But that was okay. I thought Coach Craddock did a great job on the sidelines just saying, hey, Matt, it's all about the next play now. You can't get down on yourself and, and, uh, and really trying to find, hey, look, they haven't stopped us. We've just got to, we've got to keep moving forward. So, uh, but again, what a great competitor he is, and, and um, when things break down around him, that's kind of when he's, he's at his best.